In the world of electronics, power conversion plays an essential role in managing and manipulating electrical energy. Among various types of converters, buck and boost converters are the two most basic DC to DC converters that stand out for their efficiency and functionality in low power DC to DC conversion based applications. In this video we will explain the differences between these two fundamental power electronics devices, highlighting their unique characteristics and functionalities. Before we delve into their distinctions, let's first understand what they are. A buck converter is designed to step down the voltage of an unregulated DC supply to a lower stabilized output voltage while increasing current. It is commonly used to efficiently reduce voltage levels. That's why it's also referred to as a step-down converter. It typically consists of at least two semiconductors, a diode and a transistor, or two transistors for synchronous rectifications and prevention of the diode's voltage drop, and at least one energy storage element like a capacitor, inductor, or the two in combination. In contrast, a boost converter steps up voltage from a lower input to a higher output, while decreasing current on the output. It's also known as a step-up converter. Similar to a buck converter, a boost converter also contains such key components as a diode, a transistor, an inductor, and a capacitor to regulate the output voltage. According to their definitions, the main difference between them is that buck converters are more efficient in stepping down voltage from high to low while increasing the current, whereas boost converters conversely ramp up voltage from low to high while decreasing current. The principle behind is the relationship between power, voltage, and current. Since power must be conserved, the current needs to be increased simultaneously when decreasing the voltage and vice versa. This means that whether you're bucking or boosting, the same amount of power is delivered to your loads. Then let's take a deeper look at the basics of how they work. Buck and boost converters both rely on switch mode power conversion technology. That means they both use one or more transistors as a switch, which rapidly turns on and off to control the output voltage. The basic operation of the buck converter involves controlled energy transfer from the input to the output through switches, an inductor, and a capacitor. Two switches, usually a transistor and a diode, are employed to control the current flow through the inductor. The given simplified circuit diagrams show how current flows through the circuit during the on and off stages of a buck converter. When the transistor S is turned on, it allows current to flow through the inductor L, which stores energy in its magnetic field. During this time, the current flows into both the load and the output capacitor C, charging the capacitor. When S switches off, the inductor's magnetic field collapses, releasing the stored energy and maintaining the current flow to the load, and the current circulates via diode D. Capacitor C also discharges into the load, contributing to the total current that is the sum of the inductor and capacitor current being supplied to the load, thus effectively reducing the voltage while increasing the current on the output. By adjusting the duty cycle of the transistor S, the average output voltage can be regulated proportionally to the input voltage. On the other hand, the boost converter works in a reversed manner from the buck converter by using the energy stored in the inductor to support the output with additional energy, causing the output voltage to boost. What's more, in a boost converter, the setup is arranged a bit different with the inductor put in series with the rest of the circuit. The basic principle of a boost converter also consists of two distinct states. When the transistor switch S is closed, current flows through inductor L, causing the current to ramp up, and the current flows back to the input through transistor S. During this period, energy is stored in the inductor. When S is open, the only path offered to inductor current is through diode D, the capacitor C, and the load. This results in transferring the inductor's stored energy through diode D into both the load and the output capacitor, allowing the capacitor to charge up to a voltage that is higher than the input voltage. After figuring out their respective operating principles, let's explore their pros and cons. The primary advantage of buck converters is their simpler control circuitry, which enables efficient voltage conversion using a small number of components. For both boost and buck converters, about 90 to 95% efficiency can be expected depending on load current and difference between input voltage and output voltage. But generally speaking, buck converters are more efficient than boost converters, which can easily exceed 95%, while boost converters have efficiency that can vary based on the voltage step-up requirements. But the good news is that the difference is quite small. In addition, buck converters also outperform boost converters in terms of mitigating output ripple. To reduce voltage ripple, filters made of capacitors, sometimes in combination with inductors, are often added to buck converters' output and input. By comparison, 
boost converters offer a significant advantage in applications requiring higher output voltages because of their ability to step up voltage. However, both types of converters do present some common limitations in their actual use. For example, they will lead to higher cost when used for some high-power applications, and their control complexity can increase with more advanced designs. Choosing between a buck and boost converter depends on whether the voltage needs to be increased or decreased. For a device that needs a lower voltage than the power source, a buck converter is appropriate. On the contrary, boost converters are ideal for devices that require a voltage higher than the available source. Since they both can allow the given power source to operate beyond its normal voltage range, buck and boost converters serve a wide range of applications. Buck converters are commonly used in battery-operated devices, engine control modules, LED headlamp drivers and many more applications where a lower voltage is required than the source voltage. On the other hand, Boost converters are commonly found in applications like battery chargers, photovoltaic systems, battery packs for electric automobiles, portable lighting systems as well as other realms where a higher output voltage is needed than the input voltage. So, there you have a general description of the difference between buck and boost converters. They are both essential components in modern electronics, each serving unique purposes in voltage regulation. We hope this video has made clear for you the distinctions between these versatile power conversion devices and now you can easily be able to choose between them based on your specific application needs. If you're looking for reliable power conversion solutions, ATO would be the right place that you should never miss. As an experienced and reputable manufacturer in the industry, we offer high performance and high flexibility buck and boost converters for industrial, automotive and any applications requiring a wide range of output voltages. Do check out the product links in the description below and learn more about ATO broad selection of DC to DC converters that are designed to meet a wide range of requirements. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give us a like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.